Hi guys, how are you doing? So today we're taking a look at a couple of coolers from Corsa, the H100i RGB Pro XT and the H100i Elite Capilix. Now they're very similar in name and they're similar in form really. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what you get in the box and we're gonna set them up, we're gonna test them, so we're gonna look at noise, thermals, have a look at RGB, and then you can see which one's the right one for you. Because you now the Elite Capilix is a little bit more expensive, so let's see if it's value for money. Let's do it. So we have a look at the specs for each unit, the information's on screen. Can you see what the difference is? Well, nor could I at first. Um, and to be honest, the only difference is the fans. Everything else is the same. And even then the fans are the same as well because they're just RGB on the Elite Capilix. Um, so yeah, so from a specs point of view, there's no difference. They're both very good. So it's a draw. So when it comes to the design and the casual observer, um, the Elite Capilix is completely different. However, it's not until you kind of look at the unit side by side that you realize, A, the radiators are the same, the fixtures and fittings are the same, the tubes, and the only difference really comes down to the, the fans, which are the same, but obviously RGB on the Elite Capilix, and the pump. Now, the pump is amazing on both of them. I really, really like it. If you want a subtle kind of hint of RGB, then obviously the XT is gonna win. So another great thing about the Capilix is it comes with a replaceable faceplate. Um, obviously there's one that's pre-installed and then there's another one in the box. Literally undo the four screws, um, there's an allen key supplied, replace it, screw it back down, um, and it looks great. Well done guys. But yeah, it's such a gorgeous looking pump on the Elite Capilix that yeah, I just, I just absolutely love it. So from a design point of view, although they're very similar, I think the Elite Capilix wins just because it's just, just slightly better. So when it comes to installation, there isn't a lot in it really. Um, for Ryzen, um, put the brackets on, um, hook it over the standoffs, screw it down, and that's about it. Now the way they've implemented the data cables um, and also the fans are, are slightly different to, on each unit. Um, with the Pro XT, you've got an interface cable that goes from the pump, which you have to plug in yourself, and obviously track that down. The fans just go into a splitter, nice and easy. But with the Capilix, it's a little bit more tricky. Now the interface cable is built in, which is fantastic. Um, that goes to a fan hub, brilliant, you get that included. And then the fan hub um, has got the interface cable which then goes to the motherboard. Now the tricky bit is the cable management because you know the RGB fans take two cables and you've got to route them to the hub. It can be a bit of a pain and it's a bit messy as well because the cables aren't the most kind of um, pliable, they're kind of the way they're folded over and stuff, it's, it's a bit kind of fiddly. Um, so from an installation point of view, the RGB Pro XT is far easier to install, um, so it wins this category.
So when it came to the noise testing, what we did was set up a microphone a couple of inches from the pump and also about six, seven inches from the fans. Um, we turned the case fans off. The GPU was running at about 25% because that's the lowest I could get it. Um, and then we go from 20% all up to 100% on the AIO. Um, and also we have a little listen to the pump noise. So let's have a little listen to those now. So as you can kind of tell, it gets noisy from about 70%, but I don't think that's anything unusual to be perfectly honest. The ML120s um, on the XT definitely got noisier um, towards 90-100% um, than with the Elite Capilix. Why that is, I don't really know, because they're essentially the same fans. But for me, the disappointing fact was that the pump was noisier on the Elite Capilix. I thought they may have redesigned it in some way that made it um, a bit quieter. Um, but you know, to be honest, after about 50% um, fan noise, you don't really kind of hear it. So for me, it's, um, it's a draw. So when it comes to RGB, um, let's not mess around. Um, it's quite clear that the Elite Capilix is the better looking unit. It looks even better in white, to be fair. The, um, the colors just pop even more. But yeah, the fans look amazing. The pump is gorgeous. However, if you're not really into RGB or you just like a little bit, um, then the Pro XT is definitely gonna be the one for you. So what we're gonna do now is have a quick look at IQ. Um, there's about 12 different presets. We're gonna check them out side by side um, and see what they look like. So for thermal testing, we ran Cinebench 23 for 30 minutes. We then watched the world go by in Cyberpunk 2077 for 30 minutes. And then we went into Valley for another 30 minutes. And, you know, to be honest, the temperatures, there was nothing really to choose between them. Obviously, there is a slight difference. And um, that could have been the ambient. Um, obviously, I've adjusted them to make them kind of the same. And, you know, if you think about it, you know, the fans are the same. You know, one's RGB, one's not. Um, but they are ML120s, they were both running at 60%. So yeah, I suppose you're gonna expect it to be the same. The difference really, I suppose, would come down to the pump, but the pump is basically the same. So yeah, so there's not really anything to kind of choose between the two of them, so it's a draw. So when it comes to value, it depends on what you value really. Now, the Elite Capitix comes with two RGB fans and a fan hub, whereas the Pro XT doesn't, but it doesn't need it as well. Now, the price of them is, is quite different as well. Now, the Pro XT comes in about £100, whereas the Elite Capitix comes in, say, £120 for black and £130 for white. Obviously, you know, depending on your region and, and obviously promotions and all of that, it depends on, on what you're actually gonna pay at the end of the day. Now, for me, the better value is definitely the um, the XT, but as an overall package, I think the Capilix just pips it for me, um, so that's going to be more winner. Guys, just going to wrap up the video now, give you my final thoughts, um, and my final thoughts are that basically there isn't a lot in it. You know, it comes down to aesthetics, um, whether you were like RGB, 
um, a lot or just a little um, and also kind of how much you want to spend on a cooler now if you want a better budget option then the pro xt is definitely the way to go um, i've been using it for a long time and i really like it the capelix looks lovely but it kind of doesn't bring anything else to the table you know it's the same it's the same cooler it really is so yeah it's, it's a tricky one um, obviously it'll be down to personal preference which one you choose they're both good choices um so i'm gonna leave it for you to decide guys if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one